Welcome to Dr. Don's World of Health. I'm Dr. Jim Don, and we have got a show here for you today. We, here with us, we have Dr. Alan Olo Austin, Olympic doctor, Olympic chiropractor from Toronto, from Estonia, and he's here in Los Angeles. He's here in Long Beach for us today. Welcome, Dr. Olo Austin. Thank you. Hey. So you just got back from the Olympics. Yes, I did. You were with the Estonian team. That's right. Tell us a little about that. Well, uh, I've been working with the team for the last uh, year. They were very impressed with the uh, trigenics work when, uh, when I was asked to originally go there to do a presentation to the team mm -hmm. and to the doctors and the therapists and the trainers and the coaches. I did a, a presentation to, to all of them uh, demonstrating the incredible effectiveness of trigenics in um, injury treatment, in injury prevention, and also importantly, uh, uh, the breakthroughs that we've made in sports power augmentation, which enhances performance significantly without drugs. So they were very impressed with that, and they... Uh, this is the, the Naturoid. That's right, the Naturoid. Naturoid. Uh, the steroid. It's okay. Naturoid, which is manipulating the nervous system to, uh, I think, to sec probably to secrete neurochemicals similar to what uh, steroids do, but to do it naturally. The same way that the nervous system responds to exercise because the muscles grow in response to exercise. So this is, I just want to interrupt, this right. is your second trip on this show yeah. and we learned a little bit about trigenics, mm -hmm. about the three phase and as you as you go through and tell your Olympic story with the mm -hmm. with the Estonians and all that, kind of touch on, give us a refresher on trigenics please. Well trigenics, uh, Jim, is a uh, neurological treatment system that uh, instantly relieves pain uh, it accelerates healing and it uh, increases muscle power and strength and the way it does that is by uh, resetting or rewiring the way that the brain communicates with the body and the brain communicates with the muscle system and it sort of uh, it, uh, re it resets that communication to enhance muscular performance and to accelerate healing because the nervous system is in control of the muscular system mm -hmm. and uh, the muscular system of course moves the body and so when people have impairment in their uh, neuromusculoskeletal system or the nerves and the muscles and the bones, what happens is when somebody has an injury, the, uh, the muscle that's injured or damaged or stressed, s the sensors inside the muscle get mixed up and they stop sending the proper signals to the brain. And the brain then, which is trying to coordinate movement by registering these signals, doesn't send proper signals back down again and what ends up happening is a loss of strength in that muscle and no matter how much you exercise the muscle strength never comes back properly or the other thing that could happen is the muscle could become chronically short so the muscular system goes into a state after injury any type even a motor vehicle accident or something like that so the, the chronically short is more of a mechanical like length of the muscle thing it's as mechanical but it's still the... neurologically controlled it's a facilitated muscle that's chronically facilitated which means okay. chronically over activated okay. and the weak muscle is a muscle that's chronically inhibited the signals aren't getting through properly and so what we do with trigenics is first of all we have an assessment system where we can assess the entire body for these imbalances neurologically and we draw a whole map of the body because the whole body works together if one muscle isn't working properly and it's short or, or weak that actually causes other muscles to work improperly or to overload other muscles that are trying to move, especially in athletics where the person's constantly trying to push himself. You know, I just had a swimmer, an Olympic swimmer that I was just treating and uh, she, uh, she said, oh geez, I, my coach keeps telling me to try to kick my leg but I just can't seem to get the technique on that side and I checked the muscles in her legs and the muscles that were responsible for that leg kick weren't working properly, they were neurologically inhibited. And once we corrected that, she went back, she said, oh my God, I can't believe how much better I'm swimming and my coach can't believe it either. I finally got the technique down. She would never have been able to do the technique properly if we hadn't done that. And that's much the same with all the other athletes. And one of the things we're most proud about with the trigenics is that because we can do this constantly and the athletes that come to us as on a regular basis for the trigenics treatment and trigenics training, because we're also training the muscles on a neurological level, and it's, they actually are doing a form of exercise during the treatment. The athletes that come regularly, once a week, I've never had one that's had an injury that's inhibited them or stopped them from performing. That's very big in sports medicine. Hmm. So we've discovered a way to prevent injuries, which is huge, and we've also discovered a way to enhance performance naturally without drugs, and that makes trigenics very, very exciting and very cutting edge. So before we're finished on this show today, we're going to have an Olympic hopeful athlete, 
and another competitive athlete, a couple of athletes you're going to work with and mm -hmm. give us some demonstrations of this. Mm -hmm. So you did very well in the Olympics, I understand, for the Estonians. Yeah, the, they won three medals and two of them were my two athletes. So nice. uh, they were very happy with me and uh, I, was, I was very pleased. And both of those athletes uh, publicly declared that they would not have been able to do that without Trigenics. So, and they did that in the newspapers and the media. So that was... Uh, that was really great for us. That's us. good for your whole very, institute. Very good right. for the institute. You have an institute yeah. in Toronto. Yes. And you have another one in uh, Estonia. Tallinn, Estonia. Tallinn, Estonia. Yeah, the European Institute. And uh, is it correct you were awarded uh, an honorary gold medal? By the Estonian Olympic team, that's right, for oh, the work okay. that I did with the, with the athletes. They were the president of the Estonian Olympic team uh, awarded me this at a, at a dinner, awards dinner. Congratulations. Thank you. Congra that's, yeah. Definitely an accomplishment. Thank you very much. For anybody. So you're going to continue on. I mean, you'll yeah, be with I'm the working Olympics. also with the Estonian Winter Olympic team now. I've already started okay. work with them, and uh, the uh, they have gold a gold medalist and a couple of silver medalists. Mm -hmm. And Estonia, by the way, in the last Olympics won the most coveted award, which was uh, the uh, gold medal in decathlon. It was won this year by. Uh, the Czech Republic, but uh, in the Sydney Olympics, Estonia won the gold medal in decathlon. So, for a small country, <laughs> it's uh, it's got some really great athletes, and it's number three in the world for number of medals won for the size of the population over the history of the Olympics. Wow! Mm -hmm. So it's got a good team. They're very athletic people. Wow! Yeah. Who'd have figured? I had Who'd no idea. Who'd have figured? Yeah. <laughs> I had no idea. I was I was in the service with a young man from Latvia, mm -hmm. which I believe is a neighbor. Right next door. Right next door. Yeah. Right. He was a. Uh, he joined the U.S. Marine Corps to become a U.S. citizen. And, uh, the Latvians have a great hockey team, and the Lithuanians have a great basketball team. Ah, all right. Yeah. Okay. So, do you speak those languages? Estonian. Well, they're different languages. I am Estonian. Oh, okay. Yeah. So uh, I do speak uh, some Estonian, all but right. uh, not Latvian, Lithuanian. Completely different. Mm. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you, uh, ambassador from uh, you know a world citizen here. Um, how does it work? How does it work? <laughs> How does it gonna, work? How does you're going to ask me there that. There you go. We combine um, three uh, treatment protocols simultaneously for a cumulative neurological effect. And those three, so uh, the three treatments that we apply at the same time are reflex neurology. We have the patient actually move in certain ways that stimulate specific reflexes that we want to um, facilitate and okay. use to change the wiring, to change the signal pattern, if you will. Mm -hmm. And we can do that by stimulating these reflexes. So we use reflex neurology, that's the one of the tri, mm -hmm. trigenics is three. Uh, the second one is um, uh, what we call cerebral pulmonary biofeedback, or just biofeedback. Biofeedback essentially... Cerebral pulmonary biofeedback, biofeedback. that's brain, breath, Exactly. Coordination. That's right. Brain breath uh, coordination is a specific way to breathe, a speci specific way to uh, visualize uh, mm -hmm. what's happening. All of these things have been proven scientifically to be effective singularly, but when you combine them together, they're cumulative. They add up and they give you a much more dramatic effect. And the biofeedback component, the doctor or the therapist is actually talking to the patient a lot during the treatment and letting them know whether they're moving properly or not and trying to teach them mm -hmm. how to engage the reflexes that they need to engage in order to manipulate the nervous system in a way that changes that brain-body communication. So we have the biofeedback component, and the third uh, component is uh, s uh, manipulation of the sensors inside the muscles. So we actually manipulate the muscles in a way that stimulates the nerve sensors, uh, or the mechanoreceptors, is what we would call them. Mechanoreceptor manipulation, essentially. So we've got mechanoreceptors, and there's there's stretch receptors that set limits too. That's right. Golgi tendon organs. That's right. That we that dis set. we distort those receptors to also add additional nerve impulses, in it that are that are to add to the nerve impulses that are coming through from the reflexes that we're stimulating. So we get all these mm -hmm. different nerve impulses coming into one area. And the exciting thing is in Estonia, it just happened mm -hmm. by mistake. I was on a television show there and I had said it's a neurological treatment system. Well, the next thing I know, I had lineups of people 12 hours a day from all over the country coming in and walkers and their feet, and every type of neurological condition you could imagine yeah. from, you know, all these motor vehicle accidents, spinal cord damage, brain damage from aneurysms, this, that, everything that you can imagine, strokes. And I started having to modify the trigenics procedures for these people because they're so limited. And I've got some very exciting video footage where we've actually had people that 
couldn't lift their foot, dorsiflex their foot at all, as you know, mm -hmm. you know, a lot of these patients. And within one treatment, they're actually able to do that. I've had people crying mm. and people actually able to take steps where they were never able to take a step before. So it's definitely a neurological treatment. It definitely affects the nervous system in a big way and kind of excited about doing some research to find out why that's happening because it's pretty big. Well, yeah, that's, mm -hmm. that's the big deal. I mean, you're in town training other doctors too. That's you right. have a training program. Yeah. You have we, an institute uh, in Toronto, but you travel around the world. And teaching triagenics to other doctors. Yeah, that's what we're doing here right now. And uh, this is our third class in Los Angeles. Uh, we're also going to be teaching in San Francisco. But we've taught, we've got doctors in Australia. We've taught a course there. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got uh, uh, the first course started in Europe this summer. And we've got over 300 doctors trained now worldwide. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. And you're still on the cutting edge. You were describing working with the discus player. Mm -hmm. and, and this idea of the stretch receptors, you had mm -hmm. him stretched far beyond, he won a medal. Yeah, right. well we had to use about three people involved in the treatment because the treatment involves uh, movement yes. and in this case with the power augmentation trigenics work that we do involves some very heavy resistant movement oh. uh, while we're also manipulating the muscle at the same time. So it's a type of exercise and muscle manipulation combined, yes. uh, which, you don't norm which doesn't normally happen. So yeah. we find that with successive treatments, we actually get muscle growth in response to this. And with singular treatments, we get a significant increase in muscle power immediately following the treatment. So if you treat the athlete right before they go out and then send them out on the field, they're going to just perform much better than they normally do and he ended up throwing two meters farther than he's ever thrown following this power augmentation treatment that we gave ten minutes before right in the stadium right before we sent him out into the field <laughs> and then we went to the front row there and we watched him and we just watched his disc go and it was the first throw that got him a medal so it was a lot of fun the judo uh, was was an entirely uh, a little more complicated because with judo um, the judo champion, uh, Indrek Pertelsen, um, he's the heavyweight division. Uh, he's fighting guys that were, you know, he's 110 kilos. He was fighting guys that were up to 200 kilos, almost twice his weight, because there's no limit. So some of these guys were like big gorillas. Mm. And he had to have a lot of power and a lot of strength. And he had actually said, even to the Olympic Committee, he said, if, I, if you don't take Dr. Olo Austin, you know, with me specifically, uh, you, may as, you may as well just forget about it because I'm never going to be able, I know that this trigenics is really the thing that's going to mm -hmm. take me to the medal standing and he publicly declared that. But it was really exciting because... And it uh, did in fact do that, it took him to the medal standing. Right. Well it did and he credited trigenics with that. Of course he's, a, he's mm -hmm. you know, he's a, a top professional athlete anyway, but it was really heavy duty because between the fourth and the fifth fight, um, he suddenly came to us with ten minutes to go before he was called out and he said, Dr. Olo Austin, I don't know what's happening here. My, my hand is completely cramping. I've lost all the strength in my hand, in my power. I can't grip anything. I don't know what's going on, what's happening. And we, myself and the medical doctor, we just started going to work on him immediately. And we had to think real quick because without grip strength, he was going to lose the fight. There was no question about it. We had to get the grip strength back immediately. So what, what we did was three things. We uh, immediately did the trigenics strengthening procedure on the forearm flexors and the finger flexors, which helped, but didn't completely bring it back. Then he had herniated a disc in the last Olympics, the last World Championships. So we went to the disc and we did chiropractic manipulation on the neck. That got the neck working again and sending the signals down into the arm. Mm -hmm. And then he had lost so much water that we thought that maybe there was some electrolyte loss. So we got him drinking some electrolytes and I got the MD. The MD gave him a shot of magnesium and we threw him out onto the mat and away he went and he was fine. <laughs> But it was pretty hectic. We were all sweating. That's great. Mm -hmm. That's great. Dr. Lorena Bina, one of your, your doctors mm -hmm. here in Southern California, has, has brought a couple of her athletes for you to work with. Mm -hmm. I, <laughs> uh, as you were telling me that story about the discus player specifically, mm -hmm. you know, about increasing his mm -hmm. range back there, I'm thinking That's about right. my golf swing, you know. Trigenics <laughs> is huge for golfers. I'm sure. Huge. We've I'm been sure. in a number of golf magazines. Yeah. It can increase your drive range hugely. Yeah. I'm and increase sure. the ease with which you swing, which is important. Yeah. Would be good. You don't want to try too hard. It was just like the discus thrower. I also do mental work with all of the athletes where I put them into a subconscious post-hypnotic suggestive state. That's aside from the trigenics. Uh, and we do a lot of mental work with them on a subconscious level. And they, before they perform, they actually do a, they put themselves into that subconscious pre-programmed state. Part of the things we program into them is to completely lose their mind and to just simply uh, go and to be completely relaxed. Because a lot of athletes uh, tighten up do oh, the yeah. mental stress and they lose it and then they just 
don't perform. The competition well. is where the rubber yeah. meets the road. You know, yeah. you can practice all you want, but when you're face to face with the competitor, yeah. well, I tell you what, we're going to take a short break here, and then we're going to bring a table out and a couple of athletes, and we're going to get to see you do your thing, and hopefully to their benefit, and we'll all learn something. And thank you very much. Okay. All right. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Dr. Don's World of Health. We are here with Dr. Alan Olo Austin, Olympic doctor, Olympic chiropractor, and we have some athletes to work with. Right now, he's got Mr. Marvin, kickboxer, competitive athlete from, actually he's in Buena Park? Anaheim. Anaheim, Anaheim, Southern California. Anyway, he's got a little shoulder problem, and Dr. Austin, show us what you do. It's actually Olympic trigenist. I'm the first trigenist, or registered trigenics practitioner, to apply trigenics at the Olympics and to be officially with a team. Trigenist. So, trigenist, yeah. Okay. Kind of Olympic like dentist. Trigenist. Dentist, but trigenist. I think we've actually got that on a tag in there. The Olympic trigenist chiropractor. There we go. Yes. Okay. Uh, we just took a quick check of Marvin's shoulder beforehand. He's dislocated this shoulder a few times, and he's had some problems with it. One of the things that we're going to notice with this shoulder is that with his left shoulder, he's got a nice range of motion. With the right shoulder, he doesn't like it very much, and we get much above there. He's not, he's not going to want me to push that much harder. He's probably going to turn around and give me a an uppercut or something, so we don't want that. So I'm not going to push that any hard, but what I am going to do is we're going to use a trigenics lengthening procedure on the muscles responsible for lifting the shoulder to lengthen those muscles and to open up the shoulder joint using the trigenics length neurological lengthening procedure. The other thing that we found is that that same muscle is also weak. Now hold his arm. Now this is a strong guy. Hold your arm in there. He can't even hold his arm. I could probably I might even be able to pull that up with one finger, but no, I won't challenge him that heavily. But with this arm, I don't know if we're out of the camera range, but he cannot. Do you want to do that test? No, arm? I believe no, you. You, yeah. you believe me? Do you, do you want to do the test? <laughs> huh? Okay, he knows. Hold it there. And he can't, he's just like a, he's got like a girl's muscle in there, you know? It's, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> he's really going to give me one now. <laughs> anyway, we're going to strengthen that up immediately. We, you just learned how to breathe, right? There's three components to trigenics. One of the components involves you moving a certain way to stimulate reflexes and nerve signals. The other one involves you visualizing this relaxing.